yourself by the lines. <sighs> I want to ask you a question. Do you remember the last time that you were completely turned on by your body? That you were so orgasmically connected and you trusted and you were led by her? That your body was your playground. She was your muse. She was your guide. She was your safe harbor. We get into this space where we're out there. We're looking to other people. We're saying, okay, show me who I am. Tell me who I am. Why isn't my message working? Why isn't my business working? Why isn't my love life working? Why is my health gone to shit, right? And we are looking at everyone else and asking everyone else, our family, our cousins, our brothers, our, our friends, our, our mentors, the, the interwebs, we're asking everybody, why, is it, why isn't it working? And instead we, we, we've stopped, right? And instead of actually going in, we've stopped going in, we've gone out. We've gone out and that's without, right? We've gone without our, our tribal remembrance. We've gone without this primal intelligence that we all hold, but we've forgotten. We've forgotten who we are. We've forgotten how to be. We've forgotten how to actually drop into sensation, right? There is an oracle that lies between your thighs. There is a wisdom that is so innate and intrinsic that she will guide you into all that you need, all that you desire, all of the things that you're like, <clears throat> maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. What do you think? Could I, shouldn't I? Why isn't it working? I, I've been doing all the things. I've been going all the places. I've been, I've been this, I've been this, and why isn't it working? If we stopped all of this craziness out there and we dropped in here and we connected and we understood how much we're, we, we're regulating our body to this thing that we have to be in. This, this, this thing that we're like, we poke and we prod and we're like, we talk so much shit and we're like this and it, this and this. And we wonder why we're like, I can't, I can't seem to tap into my intuition. I can't seem to make a decision to save my life. Oh, or I make a decision and then I second guess myself and I spend so much time overthinking all of it that I've just wasted like six months of my life going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, whether it was in a relationship. Do I break up with him or her or do I not? Do I stay or do I go? If it's business, I'm gonna launch a program. No, I'm not. I'm gonna launch it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna book that stage. I'm gonna go for it. No, I'm not, because I'm not ready. I'm gonna, this is gonna be my talk. I, this is not gonna be my talk. I'm gonna write the book. Oh, I can't. Maybe I should write this book, or maybe I should write this book. And, we, and then nothing happens. Because we put ourselves into a holding pattern, and it all begins because we've disconnected from her, right? We've lost the sense of actually being in our own skin. We've lost our freedom. We have given our power to something or someone that tells us who we should be. And instead of remembering, instead of allowing ourselves to, to touch and to breathe and to, to track through the breath body, to track through this, this orgasmic, waking, bliss sense of who we are, instead of allowing ourselves to actually feel all the feels, we have shut ourselves off and we have gone to everyone else to tell us who we are because that's what's happening when we're asking everyone else's opinion not that i don't have your mentors i have my own mentors right have your friends i got my friends right have your family got my family yes 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 and if you are waiting to become someone that they tell you to be you have already lost my friends you've lost you've lost it being you because as soon as we wait for someone else to tell us who we are as soon as we wait for an outcome of a situation to give us our, our, our validation and tell us that we are worthy, if I sell this thing, then that makes me worthy. If I have this relationship, then that makes me worthy. If I have this type of success, success in this way, then that makes me worthy. Then we have lost. We've lost at being ourselves because we are waiting for someone or some result to say that we are worthy, to say that we are just, to say that we are valid, to say that we are who we are. It begins inside. Anything that's out there is secondary to what you already know. You are the guardian of your truth. If you give that truth away consistently, if you're just always giving that truth away, truth, go, here, go, you, take it, everybody, everybody, everybody except me, tell me who I am. You will never, never, ever, ever, ever be satiated. You will never, ever, 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 ever be able to feel at 
home in your own skin. So if you've been feeling disconnected, if you've been feeling like, oh my God, please, please, someone help me drop into my body because I'm so up here. I can't get out of here and get into here. I know that I want to lead. I know that I'm, I'm here to, to create magic with my life. I know that I want a deeper sense of potency and, and love and intimacy in, in all of my relationships with my body, with God, with my art but it's just not happening, then it's time for you to look within. It's time for you to say, where have I disconnected from my own body? Where do I feel like I'm shackled? Where am I a prisoner in my own skin rather than completely wild and raw and free and untamed? Until we can drop back into that space, we will forever be in the sense of longing. We will forever be in the space, the space of disconnect. We will forever, forever be looking for someone else to tell us who we are. We're losing, we're losing. Stop losing, right? We wanna win, we like winning. So get back into your body, get back into the space of trust, into the space of knowing. This is taking all the things that you know, all the things that you've been, all the things that have happened and allowing yourself to transmute it, to alchemize it into embodied wisdom in your own body, in your skin. And that's freedom. That's where you get to like stalk the world and, and, and allow yourself to simply, right? Like it's just, uh, it's so good when you can just be in your body. You can, you can allow yourself to touch and to feel and to breathe and to move as essence rather than rather than a carbon copy of what someone else said you should be. So, if this resonates, right, I, I want you to do yourself a solid and get out a journal and actually start to write out where did I disconnect, where did the disconnect, where, where do I first remember losing that connection? And if you're like, I don't think I ever had it, right, then write that too and write about how that feels and, 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 and what's happened and what have, you, what have you skipped out on in your life because of the dis disconnection to your body and how is it impacting your art and how is it impacting your impact in the world and how are you shackled instead of free and what do you now choose instead? What do you now choose instead? And then how are you going to actually walk that path with consistency? And if you're like, I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna walk that path, then I want you to comment below and I will um, connect with you, right? Like, uh, or shoot me a DM on Instagram or a PM on Facebook. But if you're like, I great, it's all well and good. And what's the hell? Like, help me, help me with the bridge. Let me help you be the bridge, right? Let me help you bridge from where you are to where you want to be. Because if, if you are not dropped into your body, oh, man, life is, it's, it's like living in black and white when you could live in color, right? So, yes, connect with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it resonates, like it up, share, all that good stuff. Tag somebody. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on those notifications. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here, as always. Here's to your untaming. I will see you guys tomorrow.